apprentice experience was like nothing I've ever experienced before. Um, it was a heavily corporate environment and obviously that's not what I'm used to. I'm, I'm a social entrepreneur, have always worked within the youth sector. So I had to really t take it all in my stride as it were. Um, but it was just incredible. And what I've learned is how much you can achieve in the space of a few hours. And that's definitely one of the messages that we'll be taking to the young people that I work with. I think that it's really fantastic that I can now champion social enterprise as an option for young people um, and the show's definitely given me the platform to do that but I think the confusion that exists about what social enterprise is um, partly shows that there's a lot of work to be done in the UK to, um, to introduce social enterprise as an option. Well, um, the business that I run, Inspire Engage International, has a lot of synergy with what we're doing here and the whole sort of ethos of what uh, the Peter Jones Enterprise Academy is all about. Um, and I've just been so incredibly inspired by the business ideas and the summaries of the projects that young people have launched. But it doesn't surprise me in the slightest. I know that young people have the, the knowledge, the passion and the understanding for, for business and the different enterprises and projects that they can go into. Um, it's just we need to give young people, one, the tools to be able to do that, and two, the platform. Um, and, that's, and that's what I do in, in my job. And um, so there's a lot of synergy here, so I'm really glad to be here. I think that in this country, um, something that we don't do as well as, for example, the US does, is we don't congratulate people enough on the successes that they have. So for example, you know, in school, if a young person turns around and says, you know, after my GCSEs, I want to go into business, or I want to do a project, or I want to set up a charity, whatever that is, big dreams like that, we should be able to pat them on the back and say, well done mate, you know, I look forward to hearing about it. And, and we need to really foster that sort of attitude in this country of celebrating success and being supportive of each other, and that's the only way we're going to get the country back on its feet. For me, I've always been extremely focused on the business that I run. You know, I've been doing it for 13 years, working in this sector, and I love it with a passion. You know, I've made my passion um, my living, you know, so um, I'm very blessed to have done that. So I'm going to continue with that. We've got some fantastic projects on the way, really working in communities, supporting young people. Next month, we're delivering a skills development seminar in London. So check our websites, and uh, I look forward to projects that lie ahead. Mm, just one more thing, I just thought of another question. Mm. If you had made it through to the final, what, 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 bus business, what business were you going to pitch to Lord Sugar? Was it going to be a social enterprise? <laughs> Um, what I wanted to do was bring something new to the table to Lord Sugar, um, something that has great benefits to communities, but also was profitable. Because if you're able to combine the two, that's what makes you a social entrepreneur, and that's what I wanted to bring to Lord Sugar. So watch the space, you never know.